Hi everyone, Miss Curdy here, and today we're going to be working on um, some more rounding, but some challenge questions. So um, at this point, if you want to go ahead and give these a try, you can pause the video um, and then meet us back here, or you can go one by one with us. So question number one says, if rounding to the nearest 10, what would you round the number 50 to? So we want to look at the number 50 and see which 10 is it closest to. Um, and actually what's interesting about this is it's already rounded to the nearest 10. 50 is the nearest 10 because 50 is a round number. Um, our other two options would be 40 and 60, uh, but both of those are way further away than the number 50. So when you're rounding the number 50 to the nearest 10, it actually stays the same and you don't have to do anything to it. All right, so round 296 to the nearest 10 and the nearest 100. So again, at this point, you can pause the video to do that and then meet us back here um, to try it out. Okie dokie, let's look at the number 296. And first, I'm going to figure out which two 10s are on either side. So if I'm looking at 296, when I'm skip counting by 10s, the one that would come first would be 200. And 90 and after that we've got 300 um, and this throws some people off because they look at 300 and say that's not a nearest 10 that's the nearest hundred um, but in actuality our hundreds are also tens because when we count by tens we will land on each of our hundreds so looking at this I am six away from 290 and I am only four away from 300 so 296 would round to 300 when rounding to the nearest 10. All right, let's look at 296 rounding to the nearest 100. And I'm going to think, what 200s are we between? We're between 200 and 300. So 296 is 96 away from 200, and we're only 4 away from 300. So 296, when rounding to the nearest, 300, uh, nearest 100, would be 300. And then down here, what do you notice? Well, we notice that when 296 is rounded to the nearest 10 and 100, the answer is 300 for both. So you'll definitely need to pause the video to fill in this answer. I'm going to keep going. This is because 300 is both the nearest 10 and nearest 100. So take a minute to pause, fill that in. Okay, looking at our next question, it says list three numbers that would round to 60 when we're rounding to the nearest 10. We want three numbers that would round to 60. So we know that these are numbers that need to be close to 60 if they're going to round to it. So I know on this side, I could pick 61 to round to 60. I could also pick 59 because each of them are just one away. Let's see if I can do 62. Yep, that's only two away. How about 63? Definitely, it's only three away. 64 is only four away from 60, but it is six away from 70. Let's take a look at 65. So 65 is our number that is right in the middle between 60 and 70. So this would round up. So 65 would not work. So, so far I've got four on this side, and then I have one over here. Let's keep going on this side. 58 is eight away from 50 down on this end, and only two away from 60. 57 is seven away from 50, but only three away from 60. 56 is six away from 50 on that end, but only four away from 60. 55. Um, is right in the middle. It's five away from 50 and five away from 60. But we know when we're right in the middle, we round up. 
And then let's take a look at 54 over here. 54 is only 4 away from 50, but it's 6 away from 60, so we know that doesn't work. So we actually have all of these numbers and even 60 itself. So there are 10 different options that would round to 60 when rounding to the nearest 10. We needed to choose three, so any three of these would count. So now down here, list three numbers that would round to 200 when you're rounding to the nearest 100. So just like we did with 60, I'm gonna put my 200 here, and then let's think of some numbers. In this case, there's actually 100 numbers that would round to 200. Um, the numbers would be starting at 150, all of those would round up, all the way up to 249 would also round. So any number in between there would work. 150, 151, 152, all the way up to 249. So when you're choosing a number that would round to a nearest 10, you actually have 10 options. When choosing a number that would round to the nearest 100, there's actually 100 options, including 200 itself. That's it for your rounding challenge. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here for the next video.